Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am often wearing a towel while I do my makeup. While I'm doing makeup videos, I'm always fresh out of the shower before I do videos, so. And if you are not new here, welcome back. It's been a while. It has been a while. June and July have been super busy months for me, but I'm, I'm getting back on track, okay? We're getting things together. I'm here, we're here. So today's video, I want to dedicate it especially to my favorite thing in the world, which is makeup. More specifically, I love complexion makeup. And I have my complexion routine down pat. This is pretty much like my hot girl makeup routine. That includes everyone, okay? Everyone can do this makeup routine. If you like it, if you love it, if you want to, it doesn't matter. It's not just for girls, it's for everyone. So I also want to point out that this is a hot girl makeup routine on a budget because the girlies aren't spending as much money on makeup as we used to, okay? We are shying away from Sephora. We are jumping, trotting, treading water into Target. I feel like Target is like the place to get makeup now, especially because Elf is stepping up, Maybelline is stepping up, NYX. There's so much at Target. Most of my makeup that I buy is drugstore. So the hot girl makeup on a budget, complexion makeup on a budget. If you just wanna look hot on a budget, then keep on watching. Now the most important thing that you can do before you do your makeup is taking care of your skin. So stop what you're doing. If you're doing your makeup along with this, stop. If you haven't done your skincare, do your skincare first. Do a little moisturizer, do a little eye cream, and put on some lip balm. That way your lips can, you know, marinate and soften up while you're doing the rest of your face. Now for primer, to start off, I have been loving the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I got this one at Target. It's so hydrating, it's so soft, it's very pillowy. It just softens the skin. And it smells really good. It smells like, it smells like cotton candy. You know those, like, the perfume that... Every, every middle school girl, every elementary school girl got um, from like Walmart. It was just like cotton candy scented. This is what it smells like. I'm gonna forewarn you, the majority of the products that I'm using in today's video are from e.l.f. Yes, e.l.f. is that good. Yes, I use these every time that I do my makeup. So starting out with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Now, if you're looking at this and you're like, girl, what are you using that for? That's so dark. It's for my contour, okay? Don't worry. I have been shying away from cream contour and just doing um, concealer contour just because it's easy. And a little bit of this goes a really, really, really long way. Elf just came out with a cream bronzer. I don't know if they've extended it to in stores anytime recently. Um, I know that it's on the website. I don't like to pay for shipping. And I don't need I don't need enough stuff to qualify for the shipping like free shipping to purchase, so I'm gonna have to look to see if it's on like Ulta. It might be on Ulta. I'm not sure. I'll have to look, but I definitely want to order it. So pretty much the process for my complexion is I like to work everything underneath my foundation. So I like to conceal. I like to contour underneath because it just gives a softer look and everything peeks through. The point is we do all of this. That way we don't have to use as much foundation and we don't look as cakey. It's very soft. It's very seamless. It's very skin-like and natural. So taking my other e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer, this one is in the color medium peach. I probably should have told you what color this one is in but this one is in the color tan latte it's what i use for my contouring and then this one is in medium peach this one is more so my skin tone this is going to be a good corrective concealer if you're the type of person where you just want to like conceal what you need and be out the door find a concealer in your skin tone shade that way it blends in seamlessly and you don't have just like little bright circles around your face that people are like I can see your concealer so I like to pretty much put this in places where I get red I've got natural pinkness in my cheeks I'm using a real technique sponge and just blending this out and I'm also gonna add a little bit I like to add a little bit on my lip because I have a little discoloration around my mouth it's not that it's like it's not darkness it's the fact that it's like my skin around my mouth, it's like gray toned. Like there's not a lot of like color in it. Whereas like I have, you know, some neutralness down in here, but I have pinkness. Like it's just like, this looks crazy. But I like to do it around here because I have like 
a lack of undertone there. I don't know how to describe it, but I pretty much just like to correct the color in this area. But look at what that already did. The concealer is in my skin tone. I look corrected. My skin looks fresh and bright. It looks good already. And we're, we're doing all of this that way we can make it seamless. We can make it soft. We can make it not look cakey. I like concealer because it lets your skin shine through. Like everything's corrected yet I can still see my skin. I can still see some imperfections, which I don't mind. I can still see my skin through. I know that I'm not looking cakey or powdery. And with that, the key, one of the biggest keys to hot girl makeup, making sure your skin looks amazing the complexion is snatched i always 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 refresh my skin in between each step this is going to help melt the makeup into your skin and it's going to keep you from looking dry this isn't dry girl summer this isn't dry girl makeup this is hot girl makeup hot girl summer moisturized skin summer this is the nyx bear with me um, prime set refresh multitasking spray. This is a dupe for the Too Faced Hangover RX spray. So instead of paying like $20 for that, I think this is eight, eight ninety nine. dollars Not sure. But anyways, drugstore dupe for the Too Faced Hangover RX spray. If you want to know more drugstore dupes for like more expensive products, I do have a video. Go check it out. So now is time for blush. I have been loving, 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 loving cream blush and especially i've been loving orange tones for blush they look amazing on so many skin tones orange is just like that girl when it comes to blush i'm gonna use the nyx this is the sweet cheeks soft cheek tint in the color almost famous it is an orange tone um and before you get scared or you think oh my gosh that's so much what are you doing um it blends out sheer nyx knows what they're doing okay they know what they're doing product wise formula wise they know what they're doing. I'm gonna blend it out with my Real Technique sponge. This is why we do all this under our foundation because the foundation is going to give an overlay. It's gonna further soften everything out and make everything seamless and blend together. And before you ask, yes, we're going to spray again. It's safe to assume that I'm going to spray setting spray, refresh spray in between each step. For foundation, it is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This stuff, it's like, it's a satin finish, but it's like satin skin-like. So it's not going to be matte. It's not going to be too dewy and hydrating. This, I can't remember exactly how much this is. This might be like a $6 foundation. And it is so good. It's pretty thick, but... It's got amazing coverage. I'm gonna be using my um, like acrylic makeup palette. I always do this instead of squirting, you know, makeup on my hands. I use this palette. This is from DSMD Shop, which is a black-owned makeup accessories makeup tools company. I'll link them down below. That way you can shop this. If you're gonna get one of these, please shop small business okay it's so easy to just go on amazon and buy it just go buy it it's not that expensive and she has a lot of other stuff too so i'm gonna take just a pump like this stuff is thick like it's you squirt it out it's staying right in place sometimes foundations that are more liquidy they'll just drip down but this is a pretty pretty thick foundation i always like to just take i'll dip my finger and i'll just place where I want the foundation on my face. I pretty much apply and dot on the foundation in the places, just like in between, in between the stuff that I've already applied. And I'm gonna blend everything out with my Morphe Y6 brush. This is just a flat blending brush. And you'll see how this just melts, melts into my complexion. Moral of the story, it doesn't matter what products you use, whether it's high end, low end, if your technique is there with how you place things, how you place gradients, how you add colors together, then your makeup is gonna look so good. It's gonna look so seamless. Practice your technique, practice building up coverage, practice building up gradients, and make sure your products are in your correct undertone. So the foundation is on, you can still see the blush peeking through, beautiful tone. Now what we're going to do is we're going to brighten our under eye. This is going to really sculpt the face, shape the face, just make your face look snatched. That's where I'm going to take the last concealer that I have. Um, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the color light peach. I'm going to add a little, little, little bit of this. A little bit of this goes a really long way. 
and this is super bright so I don't need that much and I'm gonna blend it out before we set with powder I am going to refresh my skin so for powder, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. This one is in the color 05 Fair. We're gonna do some mild baking, not heavy baking, just some light baking. So pretty much whenever I pour powder into the lid, I will dip it in a little bit. I tap out the excess just into the little pan of it. That way the excess is just going back into it. We're gonna take a little bit of this set our under eye once again this isn't heavy baking this is just lightly lightly baking i still like doing this technique with a sponge because i feel like the setting powder is really getting in as opposed to just tapping on powder with a brush but this is fine to do you're not going to get that cakey baked look because we're tapping away the excess powder we're not just scooping and dipping up and sticking as much powder to the sponge as possible and then placing it on our skin we're getting rid of the excess we're putting what we need where we need it since i'm done putting powder in those areas i'm going to take a large fluffy brush this is a sigma large powder f30 i'm going to take what's left over in the pan and i am going to tap it into the perimeter of my skin i'm not going to swipe it i'm not going to wipe it i'm just pressing it in that way we don't disturb what we just did and this is just a lighter way of really pressing in the setting powder really getting it into the skin and setting everywhere. While the powder is setting into my skin, this is whenever I do brows. And I have a new brow technique, okay? I'm done with soap brows right now. I have been done with soap brows for a while. I just want something a little more simple, something that takes less time. Because while the soap brows looks good and it is a moment, it takes a lot of time because you have to get the soap wet. You have to let it get sticky and tacky and then press them up. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. And since I already have naturally nice brows, I just need minimal filling. So I use three things for my brows now. I have the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is an amazing brow pencil and it's only, I wanna say like two or three dollars, I'm pretty sure. And then the e.l.f. Wow Brow, which is a tinted brow gel. And then I like to actually gel, like glue my brows with the NYX, the brow glue, cause it helps keep them in place. What I do with these, is I put the pencil, I fill in where I need to, which I need just a little bit more structure towards the front. I just have to pretty much square it off in the front, that way I can get, you know, a more precise shape. Okay, so I fill in in the front and then I fill in what's sparse on the arch and that's it. I don't take the pencil, I don't color in the whole brow. That's where I take the elf wow brow this is in the color deep brown i take this and i run it through and that's just gonna add a little bit of depth to my brows make it all the same color make everything look neat and precise and just deposit a little bit of color throughout my brows and then to finish it off i'm gonna take my nyx brow glue and this is gonna keep them in place this is gonna keep your hairs however you want them. This is gonna keep them out of the way. This is gonna keep them up. I will say this stuff grew on me. I did not like it at first because I was so used to the soap brows and that really cemented down your brows. But this stuff is really good. If you don't want cemented, but you kind of want that look, this is good. So this is what the brows look like. Again, this is my natural shape. These are my natural brows, just fill it in slightly, enhance slightly. They're a little bit more symmetrical now. Well, since the powder has settled, it's been working into the skin, I'm gonna take this powder brush one more time and just press around one more time. I'm gonna press lightly in the areas that we baked. I say baked lightly because we barely baked. And this is just gonna help further press the powder into the skin. So I'm gonna spray one more time. The bronzer that I'm using is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in the color Forever Sunkissed. This bronzer I really like. It's a little bit more pigmented than, than you would want it to be for a bronzer, but that's where you just have to tread lightly with it. The only issue that I have with this is that there is not a good shade range in this. 
Like the shade range is just not good whatsoever. If they expanded their shade range, then so many more people could use it and it's more money for them. I wish they had more shades so that more people could enjoy it. And it's definitely something that they, they need to do it and fast because this is a really good bronzer. And it's only like $6, like it's so cheap. Like usually, like the most popular drugstore bronzer is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This could be her, but better. But just like the Physician's Formula Bronzer and this bronzer, there's not a good shade range. Like, come on, let's step it up a little bit, okay? It's 2021, we need full shade ranges for all complexion products. So I'm picking up a little and just kind of brushing off the excess into the lid because I don't want a lot. Since we already pre-contoured and pre, you know, did all that, I don't need that much but I just want to add a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, and this brush is the e.l.f. Uh, pointed powder brush. I love this brush for adding bronzer because it sculpts perfectly to the face. You'd think, oh, that's such a big brush, but the way that it's shaped, it's angled, so it works with the angle of your face as you deposit the color onto it. So I'm just gonna add it here. I'm not gonna add it to my like forehead here because that's fine like you can see like that's perfectly fine and this is gonna help make it still look natural because you don't want to look crazy bronze everything might look good on camera but if you step outside in natural lighting it might be a little bit too much and for blush this is the elf primer infused blush in the color always rosy they have an okay range of shades i definitely think that they need to make more richer deeper shades so that way more people can use them. Like, this formula is so good for the bronzer and for the blush. They just need more shades. Same thing, because of how pigmented it is, I'm picking up a little bit and I'm tapping away some excess. And we're just gonna add it. Now, blush placement is so important because it can age you or it can, you know, make you look more sculpted. You know, your face is more lifted. So instead of focusing it here and like rubbing it in here and going upwards like this, I like to start upwards and pretty much place it in like the area where I would put highlighter. And that's gonna sculpt your face. It's gonna bring everything upwards. And I also like to put a little bit on the nose. I think it is such a cute look. And it just adds more color to the center of your face. This is my little no eyeshadow eyeshadow hack. I'm gonna take my bronzer. I mean, it's not really, I didn't make this up. It's not really a hack. This is just what I do, okay? It's not new, people do it all the time, but I'm gonna take the bronzer that I used with a fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to add this to my crease on my eyes, because this is just gonna give us just depth to our eyes. That way it's not so light and so stark from the concealer that we used. And yeah, this is just gonna add a natural shadow. This is the key to having hot girl makeup is to working with your angles, working with your shapes, adding shadow, adding dimension. And of course, we're going to refresh one more time. Now that the complexion's done, this is usually the point in my makeup routine that I take down my towel so I can start air drying my hair. And if you wanna know how I style my hair, I do have uh, naturally wavy curly hair, 2C with some 2B. If you wanna know how I style my hair, I have many videos on it, go check them out. Now I'm going to add lashes. I have to get more, I'm on my last pair, but my absolute favorite lash that you can get from Walmart, Target, Sally Beauty is the Ardell 3D Foam Ink in the style 854. But this is my favorite. These are my favorite lashes. Like I literally wear them all the time because they look natural yet glam at the same time without them being crazy. I don't know how to explain it. They're like natural, but full glam. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but they did it with these ones. So I'm just going to curl my lashes, put on some mascara, apply the lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so while the lashes keep drying, I am going to take that fluffy brush that I used to put bronzer in the crease. I'm gonna take it, I'm not gonna add any more. I'm just taking what's already on the brush and just going under my lower lash line. And I'm gonna take my brown mascara. I love brown mascara, especially on the bottom lashes because it helps give you that, you know, lower lash mascara look without it being so dark and, you know, stark with the black mascara. It helps give you a fuller lower lash line without it being so harsh. And this is the Maybelline Total Temptation in the color Deep Cocoa. I'm going to refresh my face. The mascara has fully dried. The lash glue is fully dried. I'm going to refresh my face. 
the last thing, which is nose highlighter. Now, this is just a highlighter I've had for a couple years now. It's the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter. You can use whatever highlighter you want, okay? I just, I use this because it's the only highlighter that I have. And I don't feel like purchasing another highlighter because I have this one. So yeah, you don't need, you can use like Maybelline Master Chrome. I think e.l.f. has some highlighters. Use whatever you want, okay? It's not that deep. It's not that deep. But I'm gonna take this. This is actually a lip brush, but it works perfectly for doing the little, you know, exclamation point method with nose highlight. Do a little dot and then down the bridge of your nose. You see that, how it just adds a little bit of dimension. And I'm gonna add just a little bit to my inner corner. For lip liner, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This one is in the color BFF2. Use whatever you have to use for your nude lip. I know this, the combo that I use, I use um, this ColourPop one, and then I have an Estee Lauder lipstick. I have yet to find a, like, a drugstore dupe for this color, this specific color, because it's such a true nude to my lips and my skin tone. So use whatever you have. If you already have, you know, the nudest, most true nude to your skin tone, use that, okay? It really doesn't matter, but I use the ColourPop lip pencil. And now I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder lipstick. This one's in the color Naked Desire, number 122. Like I said, this is like a true nude. I love it. It looks so good. Now to finish off everything, I'm going to seal it in with my Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray. This is a matte setting spray, so it's going to keep everything in. I have oily skin, so I like to finish off like the last step with a matte spray because it's going to help just keep everything in, keep the oil control under control, you know. So this is the final result of my complexion routine, my makeup routine for hot girl makeup. Like this is hot girl makeup. Obviously, you know, we are all hot without makeup, okay? It's a mentality, okay? It's a mindset, all right? We're hot. We're all hot. And this is hot girl makeup. And the two together, you will be unstoppable. This is my go-to look. This is my favorite look. It's very clean. It's very simple. It's natural, yet full beat. Except it's really not that full beat because it's not heavy makeup. Like, the only thing that I can feel on my face right now is my lashes, but that's a given. You know, obviously I have something on them. I'm going to feel them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you watch it the full way through. It really helps me out a lot. And if you like this video, if you like me, go ahead and like this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. While you're clicking the subscribe button, go ahead and press the bell icon. That way you're notified every time that I post. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.